take a highly trained teacher. I need someone to read these two thinking questions for me. Laptops loaded with education software and 36 students rotating through three activities. And you have a new way to teach kids. It's called blended learning. And here at Alliance Smith Tech High School in Los Angeles, Veronica Bain uses it to introduce her ninth graders to Romeo and Juliet. What did Romeo do? What is he referring to? In her classroom, students are divided into groups of 12. It's hard to adapt to a class of 36, but to a class or a station of 12, it's very easy. So who steps in to fight instead? A student can get the same information three different ways. While she teaches a lesson. How did Tybalt kill Mercutio? Another group uses their laptops for collaborative work. Now, are you working independently right now, or are you supposed to be working together? Collaboratively. Okay. Others work independently using software that adapts to their reading level. Once you start getting better and start accelerating more, then the articles get bigger. You start going into bigger grades, and the articles are more complex now, and the questions are more complex, and it really helps you become a better reader. What does blended learning allow you to do in a classroom? that you couldn't do before. With this model, it forces you as a teacher to structure your classroom in such a way that no kid falls by the wayside. Technology also helps keep these digital natives on the right track. I am wondering about a couple things. Principal Lori Rhodes uses remote desktop to keep an eye on her students. Let's say I go into Mr. Romero's class, and here come all of his screens. So what is that? Yeah, exactly. So I would say the exact same thing. Except maybe it's science. It's true. And this is a Spanish class, however. And this person is watching insects versus arachnids. So I can click on that, and I can send a message. And I can say, are you supposed to be watching this video? And it says from Dr. Rhodes. And then, let's say, oh, see, they changed their screen. The staff here believes using the best of traditional teaching and technology will develop skills critical to future success. What we're seeing is kids who can communicate quickly, who can get data quickly, who can differentiate for themselves or expect their teachers to do so. Not what we had as kids. <laughs>